Dexter Plays, This War of Mine by 11-Bit Studios. Welcome back to This War of Mine. We're going to go back in and start Father's Promises over again. We got killed on our last run. Um, you can start from the day before, but uh, I feel like if I get if I get killed, I should start from the beginning with all the lessons that I've learned and go from there. So we're going to, yes, I do want to lose all my progress to start over. Adam's family failed to flee the city in time, but they managed to get by somehow despite the siege. Until one day, Adam's wife fell ill. Without the proper meds, Barbara died. After her mother's death, Amelia became completely withdrawn and stopped speaking. Then she fell ill. One night, an explosion shook their tenement, but fortunately, they survived, and Adam carried Amelia to the other wing of the building, desperate to save his daughter. Here we are. Here we are again. Yeah, he gets to sit down and talk to her for a while while we do our stuff. So once again, just a re quick recap while he's chatting with her. Day one, this is our clock. This is how much time we have in the day. And then in the evening, we might be able to go out and do stuff. We won't be able to for the first couple of nights. This is how cold it is. Uh, if it gets too cold, then you can get ill from that. This is our inventory. So if we click it, we can see what's in our inventory. We don't have anything in there at the moment. Or I can just end the day. If I'm just all done, nothing else, nothing else for me to do, I can end it. Adam here is sad because of his daughter feeling the way she is, and his daughter is both hungry and severely ill. In the first playthrough, we uh, went through did some looting, and we pretty much sold our soul trying to find stuff, um, or get, get meds for her. And that put us a little bit behind on one day. And then the next day, I ended up doing some more stuff, trying to make sure I had all the food. And that caused me not to have what I needed to make this makeshift bridge up here. So, on this run, I'm going to try something slightly different. Um, I did try to make sure that she was okay uh, this last time. Let's see, I think I have a pick now, right? Should. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to do the same thing this time. I'm, I'm going to see if I can stretch out her care until the until her uh, brother comes and snatches her which uh, happened in the second episode if you've been watching so far uh, and I'm gonna keep hopefully we keep moving. I'm gonna move a little bit faster than I did last time uh, get some stuff done this is uh, just a chance for me to build the bridge across if I build that bridge across there's all this looting over here to be done grab all that thank you all right now you can head down we'll loot that so again, double clicking makes them run. So I'm also getting a little bit used to all the uh, the key controls. Uh, WASD does not move your screen around. Gra clicking down and holding the map and then pulling it around allows you to move the map. Hope I didn't get anybody sick there. Yep, grab all that. Thank you. Exit. Come on down here. Take this out. And I think the last time we got just far enough to do this part here. Um, we've got a couple of messages here. A picture and then a note. We'll take a look at those as well. Just is uh come back to things but I, I really wanted to get moving on the looting in the house timing is i'm not going to call it critical but it is important uh you can get a little bit more done each day if you move around quickly and uh, one more pile of stuff can make the difference between days quite literally so at the moment we're doing this, uh, what I want to do is I want to do I want to focus on trying to get that makeshift bridge up and going. Um, I don't know if I'm going to feed her or not. I know that sounds heartless. Not, I'm definitely not going to give her meds. Um, she might die from not getting the meds, but uh, I feel like there's some optimization to be done here. Uh, while he's digging away, there's a bio here, which uh, when you go through it, it's, it talks about uh, the fact that he's a skilled sa scavenger and also has a coffee drinker. Skilled scavenger just means I think he, he gets uh, a faster search time when he searches stuff. And it looks like I'm going to make it through here on the first day, which is good. Excellent. Go here. 
grab all. Go over there. Grab all. Perfect. She's got her toy. We're going to give her her toy here in a second. Excellent. Grab all. So now we're done with all the grabbing. Let's come up here. And actually, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give her her toy. Let's see if we can improve his mood and her mood. Come on. Be quick about it. Look, honey, I found your plushie. Check what I found out, kiddo. A plush doggy. We're going to call him Jack. <laughs> Oof, he'll sit here with you. Why don't you take care of him for him while I'm done take care of you? Very nice. Now, while he's sitting down, he, you cannot do anything. I, I, I can go click crazy out here. It won't happen. Um, but once he stands up like that, he'll, then he'll move. Let's go ahead and take a look at the picture. Here's a picture of uh, Amelia, myself, and, and Mommy. And Mommy's in black and white because she passed. I mean, kids, kids are creative. It's kind of sad to see that. Um, here's a note from my husband, my brother. My brother uh, obviously wants to use my daughter to get through the, the stuff to get out of here. Um, but we've got some gear. Let's go take, take a look at what we can do. So from far as this goes, I'm pretty close to making a bridge. I think that's kind of important. Uh, if I build the metal workshop, I think what we could do is we could build a shovel, which might be handy, but I, I, the two piles that I can get through I don't think are critical right now. Um, that will come a little bit later, so I'm not going to build this, work, this workshop. I could get the crowbar. The shovel and the file and none of those are going to be important on my first loot run when i do get to my first loot run um, the food however i mean i could use the workshop here to create a stove to create uh, some warm food but uh, i'm not going to do that either so i might as well spend my, spend my time down here digging <clears throat> got a new entry in my bio look Gave her her plushie. Melts my heart. So his sad trait has gone away. She's still hungry and severely ill. I might have to uh, get to the point where uh, I feed her. We'll see. What is that picture? I don't know what that picture is. Does anybody know what this actually is? If you do, post down there for me, would you? I think this is just go over and comfort her. Day's almost over. Day ends at 8 o'clock. That'll be fine. Okay. Nighttime. I can't leave, leave Amelia on her own. What if someone comes to our shelter? I need to protect her. So, in this particular case, because he's guarding her, or saying here, I can't go out. They won't let me go. See? Um, and I can't get to these other two places because there's fighting there. So I have to stay here. And you can't just click on your shelter and say stay. You select from these options. I do not have sleep and sleep in bed available to me because there's not another bed. I could create a bed and sleep in it. But I think if I do, the longer I keep from passing out, the worse it gets. So not a good idea. All right, he's going to get up here and play with the radio, right? Every morning. Every morning, I lose like half an hour with him playing with the radio. Yep, he bandages some meds. I get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I can also build a uh, the, the cook stove over here now and use that to try to create some food. But you can see how desperately I need a shovel. <laughs> Excellent. 
I still don't have enough to do the, the makeshift bridge. I think the bridge takes 25 scrap and 24 wood. So I am going to prioritize that so I can find out what's over here. I see there's like one lock, one lock, I need three lock picks, four lock picks. All right, four lock picks and a couple piles. Probably something else over there. Another door out, another lock door out, so I can go over into here maybe. And this is a possibility of catching rats. And you bait it. Someone's at the door. Alright, hold on. You know what? You don't need to finish this. Come here. Go talk to this guy. Uh, let's see. I could I could trade, and I'll go, I can ask him to get some some stuff, some meds. What does he got? He's got filters. He's got water. He's got sugar cubes. Sugar cubes are used for the still, which will be not bad to have. He can do some food, tobacco, coffee. All right. He's got nothing that I I, I need. I am going to save my. Not interested in this. Thank you. Hey, can you go get me some meds? My daughter's really sick. Hey, you're the guy from the radio. Yes. Do you have my meds? Meds are hard to come by, my friend. Oh, boy. Here, here, he set me up. I beg you. She's all I have. All right, I'll do what I can. I'll see what I can do. He's going to go off and try to find some meds for you. So we're going to go over here and finish digging this thing out. So we need to get day uh, four, I think it is. And after I dig this thing out and we look at this... Um, I'll just I'll just go to the next day. We already know that we can't do a whole lot in each of these days, but we'll, we'll take a look at some of this. So once I get the bridge done, then I need to make a metal workshop to get the file or the block picks necessary to get through all of this. So I have four four things to pick my way through. All right, we're done clearing. And if we go over here and try to open this door, it says, hey, it's locked from the other side. It's barred up, so that means I have to open it from the other side. Once I do open it up... Hello, wait a minute. Did I miss something up here? Come on. I don't remember missing this. Ah, the cabinet, that's why. Picked it open, open it to search, grab all the stuff. Got a book and food. All right, so there's my food. So now if I come over here, I can see that uh, this is a place where I would make my makeshift bridge to go over there and make my way in. All right, I am going to risk it here. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Come on down. Come all the way down. You gotta talk to yourself. The guy's gotta stop to talk to himself. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Double click, double click, double click, double click. Uh, it's because I had her selected, that's why. Alright, come all the way down to here. Just here by the door. Dude, to end of day. So now I'm all done. Hey, look, go to, nope, can't go there. Alright, fine. Guard, stay, next day. All right, it's all, all calm, nothing going on. We're going to go up here and play with the radio. How's she doing? She's starving. Uh-huh. And let's see, it's day three to day four when you go and pass out, right? Let's take a look at this, shall we? All right, end of the day. Nothing else to do for me. Guard, stay. Did I pass out? Yes. The days of watching over Emily without rest have taken their toll. Adam passed out from exhaustion. When he regained consciousness, he realized that the bed was empty and she was nowhere to be found. Hopefully, your brother will um, feed the, the poor child. <laughs> Seeing how the, the bastard that I am. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this goes. 
Is it appropriate to be laughing in such a dark storyline? So, daughter, uh, yep, somebody took her. Uh, there was whoever took her. There was no evidence there. Oh yeah, right, right, right. You're you're still gonna be doing your thing. Fine. Look, look at the time. Are you, are you gonna spend the whole day? No, come, come here. Don't no, don't sit down. Look look at the stuff here. No signs of a struggle. I knew, she knew the person who took her. Yep. And then come down here. Come on. Big man feet. Right? Yep, footprints of a grown man. My brother my brother really did this. Need to pay him a visit. Yes, you do. In the meantime, why don't you come up here and go lay down? We're going to see if we can get you from being tired to slept. Get some sleeping time in here. I'll rest when I'm dead? Really? Dude. Dude. That's rude. All right. Let's end the day. Let's go to the room block flat so we already know what's, what's going there. We're not taking anything. We didn't need anything the last time. It'll give us a little bit more. Uh, we got okay, nothing here. Look for Amelia. Go. Being a bit quicker this time around. I don't even need to look there. I'm just gonna. I'm just flying, man. I'm just gonna fly, fly like the wind. I'm gonna sage everything down there. That's why I'm, I'm skipping it. Exit. We'll come back and look at this message here in a second. We saw it the last time. I know there's nobody around here, so let's just jump in here. I don't think I need to rush. I'm not going to run out of time here, but, you know, this is actually what I end up doing once I start playing this game. Is uh, I really try to cut out every moment I can of just sitting around staring at the walls. Not conducive to uh, being effective. Come on. So, getting through. All right, so that's all taken. Let's get out here. Uh, we will now look in this pile. And we will dump everything in the pile. I am right clicking to drop stacks. And I run back up and I'm going to go get the rest of the stuff. The advantage again to doing this is by stockpiling everything into one pile, you can kind of see what you have. You can even make a recording of what you have uh, for future use. So, for example, you might stockpile a lot of wood someplace, and if you end up needing wood for fuel, you can come, you know, oh, yeah, I got 50 wood over there. Or um, know that you don't have wood somewhere and not go there to pick up wood because that would take a day to just go look. So you really don't want to be in a situation where you spend a day going to a place that you've been at before. Oh, let's go over here and take a look at the note. Uh, and, and then not get what you needed. A baby carriage isn't empty. Oh, the bear baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red crab, well worn by baby teeth. A feeding bottle half full of congealed mass that was probably of baby formula. Someone must have left in a terrible rush. Or maybe they didn't need them anymore. Great. Tell me about the children that have died. <laughs> Fact of war, right? That's what the story is about. So over here you can see I'm in scavenge mode right now. I'm looking around to scavenge and also my only weapon is fists. Drop all this. Okay. Now that I've got everything, what do I want to take back with me? I do know that I want wood. I need spare parts. So let's take these. We'll take wood. Okay, so I'm out of all of that. Uh, parts. Oh, don't need the weapon parts yet. Thank you. So food would be good. Books are good. I don't need the electric parts yet, so I might actually leave that because the um, cigarettes uh, are worth money for trade. So I'm going to take this for trade and then exit. And then I'm done. So I go ahead and make a run for it. So if I, I need to leave before 
think it's like six o'clock or something in the morning or 4 a.m you need to be out before light really simulating the whole i'm sneaking out at night looting and coming back to the house to hide during the day okay we're back so we're effective. This is what we got back from our loot. So it'll tell us the stuff has been added into our current stash. And if there are other messages or things that occur, it'll tell us about it there. All right, so now that we're done with that, next thing we can do is we can come up to here. I think if I'm not mistaken, now we should have enough to make that makeshift bridge. I am very tired, so I am gonna wanna sleep, but makeshift bridge is a dud. Precious Munchkin, I'm so sorry. Yep. Well, how can I say? So we'll make the bridge. I think the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make the stove. Um, I do need to eat. I think, did I pick up a can? No, I did not pick up a can. But dude must come back. Oh no, dude didn't. Okay, I probably slept through when guy came back. Because I didn't want to trade with him. But, uh, yeah, the trader should be coming by uh, every once in a while. And I can trade things to him, like the diamonds I picked up and uh, cigarettes and whatever else. Those are all worth something. Let's get a quick peek at my things here. I've got... I think I have enough to do the, uh, the cook stove. I got an achievement. Diary, home, shelter. What? Sweet. Cook stove. Make that. Put it right there. Place. Dude, no. Let's not lose hope. You'll be able to get your daughter back. I know it. I'm sure of it. I mean, why write this kind of a story and there's no way to get your daughter back? That would be, that would just suck. <laughs> We're going to get to near the end of this day and then uh, possibly do our thing. Um, I can't do the upgrade, so I might just want to cook. If I do cook, I need two fuel. I can do books, but the books actually are, are kind of important. Let's do, let's use the wood for this. Having books around to read will actually help your mood. That's what I'm, I'm thinking about. And then we're going to make a double thing of food. Now, in the original set of this, go ahead and make it. Um, when you made food and you left the food on the stove, it couldn't get raided. Um, that was one way to save food. If you cooked it and put it in storage, it, could, it was absolutely taken. Every time. So go ahead and eat. Um, this is not a game in which you just want to keep everything like always hungry. You, there's actually advantages to being fed. So we will do that. Um, I need to get some rest. I'm, I think I'm going to go up here do one. Get a couple here. And I could probably come back through this way to make things a little bit quicker the other way around. Come on. Grab all that, good. Go here. I need to get in bed shortly. Okay, electronics and water. Go down here. Okay. 
on that. Now, if I'm not mis... This does not look like it's someplace so I can just jump down to grab, right? Nope, nope, it isn't. All right, so let's go open the door and then go to bed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pop. All right. Now, yep. hurry up. Go let, get in bed. We'll let the day go by. All right. So we'll come back in the next episode, starting off with a loot. I think what we're going to do is we'll probably hit my brother's place. If I had my guess, she won't be there. He'll have taken her and headed off to the corridor. Just guessing. Um, but that's my prediction. So we'll go ahead and take a look at his place. Do some more looting over there. Um, I also need to go double check some of the, the workbench stuff. I, I need to think about what I want to do. I think the metal workbench is next priority. Might even be able to build it now. That being the case, we'll do that. I still need to make a couple of more uh, lockpicks. Because uh, I don't think I have anything in my inventory, right? No lockpicks? No, I have one lockpick in my inventory. So I can use that lockpick the uh, next day to like pick through one of these things down here. I could do... No, that really didn't get me anything. Neither does this. So lockpicking this one down here will give me the chance to get to something to scrap. So I'll do that. So come back and join me. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows In the corners of your mind I go where the wind blows I run but I don't hide I hear the call of the wild Whispering the name No, I can't be tamed My heart belongs to the night I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, 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 I'm a, I'm a